Um, I really like it. Uh, you know, obviously we've done a, a lot of work. Um, I work with a young guy called Sean Evans and, a, and an editor in New York as well. And the three of us, um, with a lot of help from quite a big team, have produced all this extra um, visual material in order to make the show work, you know, for, for more people. Right, okay. Some iMag, some false iMag, all, all kinds of new imagery. So, and uh, I work on it every day. Um, so I haven't looked at yesterday's show yet, but because um, my wife was here and, uh, you know, we were busy with other things, but um, she's gone back to New York, so I should, uh, later tonight I will watch the show. And I just made notes. Yeah, technology has changed and um, obviously the technology of projection has changed a lot but, uh, but also <coughs> this show needs, needed a, a sort of leap of faith because um, nobody for any reason, for any medium has ever tried to project an image even half the size of this. So this, yeah. is, this is over 15,000 pixels wide which is a huge you know, amount. If you talk to people who know about projection, it's a lot. Um, and um, I have an amazing guy, Richard Turner, who's the head of my uh, projection team, who's figured it out. And, and they've worked out how to do it. And it's very, I'm really impressed. I think, I think it's amazing. And it, it's only interesting because uh, it helps me to move people. It, it, you know, it's, it's only a tool to um, to project the emotions that I feel and that I hope with, the, with my band that we project them. So it's a tool to project them to yeah. a large number of people. Yeah. I, actually, in, in the English bit of my speech last night, um, I said that to the audience, uh, as you know, as you got. I said, listen, when I, was, I wrote this when I was 35 years old, and when I was 35 years, I thought this piece was about me and my father, you know, and my problems with women. And I've realized since that it's not. It's about much broader issues than that. Because of the symbolism of the war, it allows itself to be about almost anything you'd like it to be. Except that it's constrained within the limits of my political, social, philosophical and musical beliefs. Mm -hmm. But within those limits it can be about anything. Yeah. And so, uh, you know, the first show that we did here in Brazil um, was in uh, Porto Alegre a few nights ago. And that was... That was the first time that I ever that I learned to pronounce uh, Jean Charles de Menezes' name. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. His, his yeah. family came yeah. to the show, though, and I actually I found it quite hard to sing the song. I was really emotional, very, very choked up, and I, I had to just take a deep yeah. breath and you know get through it as best I could. believer in um, legalization uh, you know regulation and taxation is a problem to as, a, as an answer the whole idea for me the idea of a war on drugs is as nonsensical as a war on terrorism to, to me it doesn't make any sense at all and it never had what's interesting is to all the people even the policemen Everybody involved in it on a professional level, when they come to the end of their time, they go, this is insane. This is, we don't know what might work, but we know that this doesn't work. All this does is provide misery and pain for uh, thousands and thousands of people. And obviously, a lot of money for, you know, a few people, whether they be in politics or, you know, or, or, or violent criminals yeah. or what, whoever they are, you're providing them with a, with a way to make a, a, a big living and the temptation is too great. Well, 
I'm obviously in the fortunate position of not needing the money. So if I was, you know, a poor musician and was having my Dave, you copyrights were, you were stolen by years other again. people, if I was trying to, you know, be able to buy a loaf of bread to feed my children, I might feel differently. But from my privileged position, my feeling is that one has to be so careful about about regulating the internet and I agree I've signed the petition against so far I don't care about my royalties you know. mm -hmm. although I think it's wrong that people should I think intellectual property rights are a reasonable thing but the, but the idea that government should be able to decide what can and what you know sites can and can't exist I think is so dangerous that we must guard against it as vociferously and loudly as we possibly can. And I am vehemently against any law that could be used to curtail um, individual freedom because it's too dangerous politically. Yeah. And um, anyway, that's all I have to say about it. <laughs>
good. You know, it's, it's like you can, you can, you might. It's like if you're a film critic, you've got to be able to watch a movie and go, "I don't like this movie, but it's a really good movie. It's really it's, well it's made, great. and it's this and that." Anyway, okay. Um, yeah. uh, what's the phrase? Fuck. Em. <laughs>